Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is uh, Extreme Reduction. It is a reduction that's very compact and it reduces 1 by 11 million. And yes, you hear that right, 1 by 11 million, even though it's as compact as this. So let me explain to you how this works. Uh, in another video I've uh, shown you the grinder gears, which is a mechanism where you have already quite a reduction. Um, I'm turning the yellow gear uh, inside the yellow gear for each turn of my finger. The yellow gear skips a tooth and for each uh, circle that it goes all the way around uh, the green and the red uh, gear have skipped the tooth uh, compared to each other. So this is a mechanism that already uh, uh, provides a lot of reduction and in the extreme reduction I have concatenated two of these mechanisms uh, and to uh, take the difference of them. So it's a bit uh, complicated to explain, which is uh, why I made uh, this picture. What you see is a crank. Then we have a first reduction ratio with planetary gears in the yellow ring, um, which then, uh, or in the, actually in the dark blue ring, which then drives the green ring. And this uh, reduction uh, itself, it is one to something like 17,000. So that's already uh, quite a lot. And then uh, the next stage makes the same reduction, but in the other way around. And uh, so the, the green one is moving forward and the red one is moving backward, almost at the same speed that the green one is moving forward. And the net effect is the one to uh, 11 million uh, uh, gearing uh, ratio. So I'll uh, show you a bit uh, how it turns. Then uh, I'll explain a bit more about the gearing ratios and uh, well, we'll see from uh, there. So let me first uh, show you the turning. Um, when I turn one side, you see the blue gear uh, pivoting inside the blue uh, frame. And at the other side, we have something similar with uh, uh, actually uh, pink uh, gears. And of course you see uh, after all my turns, you see uh, absolutely nothing uh, has moved. And that's because, well, they uh, are going at such extreme low gearing uh, ratios. So I'll uh, explain first to you the numbers of the gearing uh, ratio. And what you see here is the calculation. And of course uh, you uh, can uh, figure out uh, this uh, yourself at uh, home. But first of all, in this calculation, it's the, uh, the bottom part that's important. Here we have 26 times 26 minus 25 times 27. These are actually the gears of uh, the, the tooth numbers of the grinder gears. So that are these. And this difference is exactly one. Here we have a similar calculation, but then with one lower, 25 times 25 minus 24 times 26. Also one. And when you make this uh, calculation as a whole, then you have uh, uh, 675 minus 674 which is also uh, one so the uh, everything is nicely subtracted so such that you get a very low number at the bottom whereas at the top uh, if you multiply all of them you get the number of uh, 11 million or to be precise 11 million so uh, quite an extreme reduction. So in order to sh uh, give you at least a feeling of that things are moving, I'm going to spin the uh, inner axis a lot of times and hopefully uh, after a lot of turning you will see that uh, things have moved. So let's uh, get started.
So what you have uh, seen see me doing uh, is a couple of hundred moves and when you look at the top you see that the green gear has actually moved a fraction of a degree compared to the yellow gear. Well, when, uh, well you can do the math, uh, it's uh, 1 to uh, 17,000 something. So if I turn a few hundred moves, then of course the green one is going to turn a visible bit. And what you can also see is that the uh, red ring has moved in the opposite direction compared to the green. And uh, of course with a total gearing ratio of 1 to 11 million something, um, you still cannot see that the red has uh, moved compared to uh, the yellow and actually you have to believe the mathematics or turn even more and more to get this uh, to, to make it actually uh, visible. So what's uh, special about this is of course that it's an extreme gearing reduction. Uh, it is uh, 1 to 11 million something um, and it's very compact. Uh, you see it uh, fits in my hand if I would do the same thing uh, with worm wheels uh, and same size of gears, the thing would be much bigger. So we have a very, very compact, very extreme gearing ratio. And of course you can already guess uh, my question. Because, um, well, it's nice to have this as a proof of concept, but what use does it have? So my question is, what is a practical application of a gearing ratio of 1 to 11 million that is this compact? Thank you for watching.